Hi everyone. So, I would like to introduce you to Guardian encryption procedure. So, what is the encryption? And Guardian um, has two parts. First part is the encryptor, and second part is the Guardian itself. First part, you encrypt your AX4 files. These can be expert advisor, indicator, or script in any form. Um, and you give those files, the encrypted files, to your clients, and clients can use those encrypted X4 files uh, uh, with Guardian client. So let's now start after the intro introduction um, with encryption stuff. So let's say we have one cool EA to protect. Let's look at it first of all. So, I have prepared something for you. It's called FXTF. As you see, it's copyrighted. Okay. Now let's open some chart. So it doesn't matter which one. Let's apply it to the chart. As you see, everything okay. Mini, mini settings. Okay. So. As you see, looks cool. So we want to protect this one because if we don't protect, then people can decompile it very easily, and we will lose all our code. So we don't want it. So let me close this one. That is our target file in the video. Um, okay. First of all, I will open. Encryptor, and I have prepared it here. Encryptor. And first disclaimer: you have to read all all these stuff and accept it. Then encryption tool will load. This is the newest version right now. You may have a newer or older version. Uh, all of them are working similar way. So, what is important to know? Okay, I, um, here you have ten fields you can fill them with files encrypted encryption tool does um, store all those settings automatically in registry so next time you can just open them and you will have the same environment so let's let's demonstrate this one so let's say we want to have this file encrypted this is our target file remember Let's take um, MSCD sample. This is the sample file from Metacruit. Let's take this one. So here you have a, a settings. It's called prefix. So we default set it to S to indicate it it's secured. So you can put there anything. So let's say we just uh, do this uh, video prefix. And so I can do either encrypt every file separately by pressing encrypt. You see successfully encrypted. And if we look into the into the expat directory and okay, sort it by date and you see our prefix is video under uh, score and uh, and the name of the original file. So this is our target file. So let's encrypt this one. F5. You see it has been encrypted. Or you press encrypt all, and it asks you it has been encrypted yet. All right. Yes. All right. Yes. And the third one wasn't created. So we have three files from those three. So if we exit and start again so you see everything is like before so you have you can do video 2 encrypt all done and you see and it has created the same output with video 2 prefix so let's delete this one and just store this one okay that's it that was the encryption procedure. Uh, it was that easy. 
no exit no let's start uh, or metatrader let's say just open something like this okay it is opened now we have our video tf FX or video MACD and or video test one. So, so let's double click. As you see, nothing happens. Let's double click, double click, nothing happens. Why not? Because the garden is not running. So let's assume you are you are the user who want to use it. So every user has to have guardian um, running before he can apply he or she actually can apply any encrypted file to the chart. So let's close this one. Let's start with Guardian. Um, so, okay. As you see, it is loaded, let's say hide, so it goes to the Swiss tray. Now let's start our broker. Let's start our original file spread. Okay, and as you see, no encrypted file is able to be applied to the chart and the file itself is still encrypted. That is the advantage of Guardian. Thank you very much.